Hi everybody, it's Shanna with Shanna Sweet. I want to show you a card using Whale Done, this super cute stamp set that comes with a punch as a bundle. And it, this card is using a um, the background stamp in which I've done a little bit of um, some blending. And I want to show you how I did that and made this super cute card. It is super easy to do, and I'm going to use the background stamp right here, and we're going to use Pool Party ink, and you're going to stamp or ink your um, background stamp first with Pool Party, and go ahead and do the whole ink pad with or the whole ink pad, the whole stamp pad, excuse me, with Pool Party first, okay? Then you're going to open up your Misty Moonlight. And I have a sponge pad here that I just quarter and have um, some Misty. And then just find parts of your background stamp that you want to add a little bit more color to okay then I have a piece of whisper white and this whisper white is um, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and I'm just going to put it down on my um, ink pad and then I'm going to give it a good smush and then when I pull it off my ink pad you will see some really cool little variations in my um, stamping now okay so we are going to layer this on top of um, a piece of four by five and a quarter misty moonlight. should give us just a little bit of an edge and then this is going to go on top of our pool party card base and that is four and a quarter by 11 in which we're just going to fold that in half and then this will go right on top Okay, then what we're going to do is I have a piece of shimmer white cardstock and I'm going to stamp my little whale in Pool Party down here at the bottom of this. This is just a piece of scrap paper that I have of that shimmer white. And then I'm going to punch it out with my whale punch here now when I punch this out it's going to also punch out these little um, water droplets I want to keep those so don't let those things go too far when they punch out and so there's one of them. Um, that little white one always wants to get away from me. So if it goes inside, which is what I think happened, there it is, right there. Just lay it down so you don't lose it. All right, while I got punches out, I'm going to punch me out a two and a quarter of some vellum. 
and two and a quarter of pool party. Okay. And I already stamped out some misty, uh, no, um, magenta madness right here of the coral. This is a stamp in the stamp set right here. Um, I already stamped that in the, on the shimmery white cardstock and I cut it out. And then I have some old olive of the little ones and I already trimmed those out. So the punch doesn't do those. So I already did that. So we're going to bring our card back. And so we're going to layer this up. Oh, actually, I want to stamp one more time here on these little dots right here. I'm going to, there's an eyeball right there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to line this great big dot with that and make that the new eyeball. And then actually, um, there's a fin. I want the fin of this. So let me punch out that fin in shimmery white. And then in my pool party, I got a whole bunch of ink here. I'm going to take one of my aqua painters and just pick up that and I'm going to color that fin just real fast. I just want to add a little more depth to my whale. Okay, now I can uh, layer my so I'm going to put my circle down here towards the bottom and I think I'm going to use the wet glue here where I think my whale is going to go. right there. Now this, I'm going to add a little bit of glue to my coral reef because it's going to have one of them's going to go outside my vellum and then one's going to go on top of my vellum. So I kind of want them to overlap a little. And then my whale will go right here, kind of over. And then that way I can put a little bit of glue on this piece that I want to tuck up underneath this other fin. I can use my tweezers to tuck that. Okay. Now, these two little white pieces that are my water they're going to get a little bit of glue and go on right there like that. And 
And then I'm going to take my um, fine tip glue pen, and mine is like stuck, and it won't uh, come out the top. So, but I don't want to waste my glue that I have. So I have a Q-tip that I've broke here, and I'm going to just kind of put some on these what this what I'm calling a water drop. So I can still make it work. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp Thanks a ton in Misty Moonlight. And I want to stamp it right about there on a piece of three quarters inch um, pool party. And I'm going to put it in the pointy one. So. And then do it to the one inch. I have a one inch misty moonlight. Again, make sure that that's lined up straight. All right, so put some glue so that I can line these two up. So I'm gonna line these two up here. Then I can run this through my paper cutter, okay, wherever I feel like was a good point, just kind of eyeballing it. Then I can put some dimensionals on it. And put that up here at the top. I feel like that's not got enough glue. I'll add a little more. Um, I needed some of my little green coral. Down here. I think I'll add a third one tucked in there. And there you go. That's my card. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will um, continue watching. Please like, give me a thumbs up, and share with your friends. Thanks so much. Bye.